Thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Vaughn in tonight for Paul Majors. And I'm Pat Harvey. Now, here's the good news. Student test scores have improved in California. But the bad news is the scores are not so good. On average, only 49% of California kids meet or exceeded English language arts requirements. And just 37% did that in math. This morning, the state superintendent of public instruction, Tom Torlickson, accentuated the positive by highlighting the improvements. We set more rigorous state standards. We set standards that are more relevant to the real world. Look at examples of schools that in the midst of poverty. As a whole, LAUSD schools perform below average, but CBS 2's Christine Lazar takes us to a school in Arlita that proves the best is possible. Who was the goddess in the story that we read about? When veteran teacher Kelly Neat first started teaching Common Core five years ago, she admits she wasn't sold on the new standards. When you're looking at what you are going to be putting in front of these students, you think that seems very challenging and difficult, especially at the third grade level. But now she says most of her students have caught on, even if their parents are still skeptical. People aren't, they don't love change. And so I think that's really hard for them. They think that, you know, the old way is always the best way to do something. Here at Vena Avenue Elementary School in Arlita, they've experienced one of the biggest improvements in their standardized test scores in LA Unified. Last year, 44% of students met or exceeded state standards for English. This year, that number jumped to 66%. In math, last year, 43% met or exceeded the standards. This year, 52% did, putting the school well above the LA LAUSD average in both subjects. I really think that it makes students think. They're not memorizing things, they're not, they're explaining, they're collaborating with each other. Principal Sonia Bradley is a Common Core expert for the district. She attributes her school's success to teacher collaboration and their willingness to get on board. Another thing the principal did here to prepare her students was to invite their parents into the computer lab so that they too could take a sample of the standardized test. You need to get the parents to understand what's expected of their children. The only way they're going to do that is if they actually take it for themselves. And the kids too are excited by their noticeable progress. 22% of Venus students are English language learners like Emily Ravello. It makes me really happy to know that I ended up in a school like this when people are so smart. In our Lita, Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News. Now to see test scores for schools all across the state, just go to CBSLA.com and click Seen on TV.